What's good? How are you? Ain't nothing quiet. What to do? Quiet. You know, chilling. A lot going on. You already. You already. Good to see you, man. Virus. Yeah, good to see you too. This shit don't make no sense right now, man. Yeah, man. God bless the dead. To everybody who passed away, who got family members that's going through it, that's in the hospital right now. And this shit is crazy, man. We got to count our blessings, man. It's very strange, strange times we in, man, you know? I'm definitely counting my blessings, man. It's good to hear from you, man. I'm, you know, bless all those we lost at a time, you know, where we got to be our strongest, man, and send our love, man. It's good to see you, though, dog. What's happening, man? Hey, shit. Keeping it in. Everybody good, you know? Everybody, just, you know, putting it through, you know? It's tough with the kids, that homeschooling, <laughs> man. Yeah, it's ill, man. It's like, you know, it's just something that a lot of us probably was prepared for, you know what I mean? Brothers that's older, you know what I mean? We got to stick with the times, man. We can't let no no times humble us to the point where we don't keep pushing, keep educating our kids, man, you know? And then for the people that lost their jobs and all, that's the crazy part, too. That's a whole nother ball game, man, besides the diseases, man. A lot of people in hard times right now, you know? That's where it was good. Yeah, what up, y'all? Business is good. The business. Everybody who checking in, I appreciate this, man. What's happening, man? That was all. I seen my man Cream Heffner. Shout out to Sheena. I don't know if she left, you know, but yeah, big bro, man. But uh, what's going on? Yeah, I seen the Young Chop shit and all that shit going on. Young Chop. Yeah, that Young Chop. What you, what you, what you think? Yeah, what, what's your, what's your? Go ahead. I look at it like. At first, I thought Shorty was faking, man. You know what I'm saying? But now, you know what I mean? When I'm hearing different people talk about him, JoJo Capone, Lil Dirk, it seemed like, you know what I mean? Shorty really got mental health. He got mental problems since his mom died. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm looking yeah. at it. You know? Yeah, I agree. I agree, man. People should take that serious. That mental health ain't no joke. You know, um, it's a tough time, but they just, my, my opinion on it, they should just let him rock. Like, if he going to this, maybe that's his way of dealing with this going on. You know what I mean? By us, everybody being locked in. Maybe he alone right now. He's saying in the house by yeah. himself. I think people should just let him rock. If you're going to, you know, go back and forth with him. But I just don't like when it when it gets too crazy, when, when the threats and, and people really, he going through something, man. They need to give him a pass yeah. for us, like, if I was a rapper and he dissing me right now, I, I wouldn't feel no way to try to get at him or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I hope like somebody like Jojo Capone is somebody take him under his wing. You know what I'm saying? Something like that, you know? Because he's he's in a new lane, man. He's all the way out in uh, Atlanta, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't take kindly talking about their city. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole flip side to this. You know what I'm saying? Some people, you know, let that stuff just roll off their shoulder. Like, yeah, he ain't talking about nothing. And then, on the flip side, you got guys that's like, yo, man, you know what I mean? Yeah, we may be in Atlanta, and it may be not like Chicago, but it's killers everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's killers everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's, I think stuff, he... it's about respect at this point to me. You can't go and disrespect nobody. You can disrespect the individual, but you can't disrespect the whole city. You know what I'm saying? The whole city of Atlanta, nobody, you know what I mean? They don't got nothing to do with that. You being disrespectful. That's the only thing I see at the point now, you know. But I think I think most of it, to be honest, I think most of it is mental illness right now. And then part of it, he might be fucked up because a lot of people saying that he his pockets is hurting right now. So yeah, sometimes, yeah. sometimes your pockets hurt. You 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 know what I'm saying? You're survival mode right now. Pressure. So he what's probably up, what's, up, DP? what's up, DP Law? Yeah, I hear you, big bro. You know what I mean? That he probably said, mess you fuck up, everybody. Yeah, absolutely, because he missed the ball. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that a lot of these dudes that's out right now, and they hot, it might be some of your formula. But you ain't, you know, make make yourself noticeable in other arenas, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't take the beef around and think it's going to work. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to look at life as what it is. You know what I'm saying? And and take it on the chin, you know what I'm saying? You gotta take it on the chin, like, you know what I mean, put your work in, you know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it, you gotta put your work in, you know? Word. And the way he sound like, the way he he coming at it, it seemed like 
he fuck with dudes and dudes turn their back on him. That's the way it, it seemed like it coming off to me. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's like he's like, oh, these guys fake and he not really going into what they, they did. But right. maybe he feel, I don't know what's the situation. And he was just arrested. He just got arrested but earlier today. Yeah. Um, what? So, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's for the gun or for, I want to know, do he got a gun license? He run to me? He probably do. He's 25, never been arrested. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I mean, I don't know what's real and what's fake. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's yeah. trying to take this same blueprint of, of clout, whatever they want to call it, they the clout chasing, the beefing, and everybody not playing the same, man. You know what I'm saying? So my whole thing is a respect, and I don't want to see him get hurt. I don't want to see him get hurt over some shit that he could have avoided. You know what I'm saying? He could avoid a lot of this shit, man. You know, but other than that, you know, it's a lot going on, man. Other than that, you know, a little shorty, yeah, man. So you you been watching the uh the battles going on? Shout out to Swiss and uh Timberland, man. Yeah, I absolutely. love that shit, man. Absolutely. That's my that's my thing, man. That's what it's all about, man. You know what I'm saying? Times like this, man, we want to still spread that love, man. Reach out, have a good time. You know what I mean? And, and at this point, we have to downhill with all this. But yeah, I seen, I seen which one I seen? I seen the last joint with um, with um, not with Neo, with um, with um, with Lil John and uh and T Pain. That was good. I seen. Uh, who was it? Who was against um old oh boy? What's his name? Um, not Sean. Yeah, Sean Garrett. Yeah, joint. Yeah, I like Sean Garrett. Sean Garrett got a lot of hits. I missed the Neo joint though. I ain't really see a lot of that joint. It was crazy to me. The best one out of all of them was Lil John and and uh and that shit was crazy. was crazy. You know what I mean? That shit was crazy. Well, yeah, it's a lot. Of me you got the DJs going at it. You know what I mean? You got the rappers. You know what I mean? As far as, you know, the battles, you got the kid, um, Tory Lanez. He had a nice little thing going on. 300,000 followers all in his joint quarantine radio. You know what I mean? Then Instagram did something. Instagram blocked him or something. Then they stopped people from even, from, from certified, verified pages going into his live. Deuce, what up, Deuce? Happy birthday. Or right. Without know? the most love, DJ VIP. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Go back. Yeah, but um, it, it, it's it's crazy because that shit, that T Pain and and uh, and Lil John shit was crazy. I I think that was number one. Yeah. The the Scott Storch and what's name was was cool Manny Fresh. Yeah, that I was like good. that. Dude. But I just think Manny Fresh, he don't got he don't got like everybody said he don't got enough range, man. You know what I'm saying? He only got yeah. three New Orleans joints. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, you know what I mean? That's where he kind of went wrong at. I don't think that was a good matchup. Scott yeah, I don't think that was a good matchup. Scott then Smith you got, got the song. You saw, you saw Neo and, and, and the dude, Jante? Neo. No, I ain't see that one. I ain't see I seen a little bit of it. Light Skin Kid. And I only seen a little baby bit of Bond it. Baby Bond was good. All right. All right, what's up, y'all? Shout out. Shout out to Baby Bond. Neo, Neo, yeah. Neo, Neo, that, that was a good matchup. Neo and... uh. Deshaun Garrett and uh and Dream was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot more to come, man. It's, I mean, then you know they're gonna take it further. They're gonna take that to BT and and all that and all summer jam. They already talking about talking taking to summer jam. Oh, right. word. Yeah, they already I think about that. Yeah, that's that's common sense, man. We are the culture. And that's Last summer was good. Word. Stephanie How was good. Right, Stephanie. People in the comments. Vietnam. Wow. People in the comments, what y'all think about the uh, the ba the battle been going on? Who y'all think won, and what's y'all best battle? Out of uh, Little John and T Pain, we had Sean Garrett and Dream. Who else was on there? We had beginning. We had Swiss and Timberland, and Scott Storch and, and Manny French. Yes, yes, Scott Storch and Manny French. I want to see Dipset and G Unit. And then they saying, I want to see Atlanta go out of Atlanta. Atlanta, Atlanta and Atlanta, yeah. Atlanta, Atlanta and Atlanta? Atlanta? Yeah. They talking about that? Huh? They talking about Atlanta and Atlanta? I'm saying that because y'all got all the talent down there. Let me see y'all go at each other. They always want to go at another state when y'all know y'all got everybody down there. No, nah, I, yo, we can fuck with them. New York can fuck with them, man. Can, but, you, um, you think um, New York can't um, fuck with Atlanta? No, they don't got, we don't have as many new stars as them. 
They got a lot okay. of stars. Yeah. Star. Oh, they got all the new generation. They got the last 20 years. These kids is born into Atlanta hip hop. That's that's performing now. They look up to G yeah. to Gucci Man and T.I. It was good. You know what I'm saying that trap music. But uh, if if from uptown, what's up? All right, baby, born. Yeah, yo, but they they saying uh Ludacris and uh not Ludacris. They saying Two Chains and uh Future. But they said they don't want they don't want to go at, with each other. They want to. Go, go with against somebody from another state. Two chains in future. Wow. But they said but they don't want. Atlanta got too many artists. Big trucking was good. Premium was good. Truck, what up? You know what I'm saying it's like they got Atlanta got too many people. They don't even make. But they sense. don't. But they they don't want to go. They 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 want to go at enough. That's why he said he want to do Meek Mill. Meek Mill and who? Two chains say he want Meek Mill. No, Two chains want Meek Mill. Two chains got him though. That's a good one. I'm gonna go with yo. Two chains got a lot of hits, but Meek got he hits. Do. That's a good one too. I, I outside the box. I ain't think of that. I'm for that. Two chains said he want him. Two chains want that. Meek got the people though. You understand what I'm saying? Meek the people champ. So that's where Meek gonna get you at. He'll get you on votes or popularity. But music wise, they both got hits. Two chains got hits. He had a run, but it was just him. You know See, the key to that shit is 20 songs, though. Right. See, that's the key. The, the key to that is 20 songs. It's not no five or six hits going to do it. You can have five or six bangers. If you can't last, it don't mean nothing. No, 2 Chain and Meek got enough. They got 20. See, that's the crazy about the producers. They, they got 20? Meek? I, I, I go check his catalog. 20? Meek got mixtape Meek, album Meek. He got 20. He got, he got, he got the first joints he came out with. All them, Don Diamonds is blue. All them joints in the beginning. Um, uh, uh, all that Dream Tracer man. He got a lot of albums. He got mixtape Meek. It's two Meek. No, but it got to be hit. See, see, I tell people he got. Yeah, got everybody got twenty songs. Twenty. You see what Lil John and and T Pain did? Yeah, that's a different ball game. They banged out from beginning to end. It was no, no letdown. No, see, cause they, they have no holes in these producers named the artists. It's a little different huh? artist. See, they got a, a, a they got a larger selection. You can hear me? I hear you clear. Yeah, they got a larger selection. You know what I'm saying? Because they produce it, so they working with multiple artists. When you're an artist, you stuck to yourself. But you know what I mean? It's, it's, but it's that's the key. Business, you got right? to have 20, 20 joints. Yeah. Now we got to take this joint to another platform. You know what I'm saying? Now you got to take it to the television. You got to take it to the next level. But they don't want us on these Instagrams, man. Why would you take T-Pain? Why would you take Tory Lanez off? For what? Who took Tory Lanez off? Instagram. Wow, what happened? You know he was doing lives. 350,000 people in that live. That's he. I mean, he was hurt. He was killing. He was having the parties in the quarantine radio. Then they let him rock again. Then they, they didn't let no verified people in his live. What's going on in the last? Premium said Meek got them bangers. Meek? Oh, who that? Yeah, who that? Premium? Who said that? Oh, Premium. Yeah, Premium. He said me and Meek got yeah, them bangers. Think, premium. What you think? Meek or Two Chains? I want everybody in the comments. Who y'all want to see battle and who who y'all like uh, battle so far? Who y'all think won? We're going to read all comments. Beauty Rush was good. What you what you think? I, I need to hear, hear what y'all think. We want to know what y'all think. You here with Doc and Baby Bob? Hey, beauty. Who y'all think won, and who Girl. who y'all want to win? Yeah, out of me and two chains. Who y'all like to see? He said Meek Easy, two chains got better features though. Two chains, you got a lot of features. I think two chains will win. Cause he got bigger songs. He got a lot of them big songs. All Two chains do, yeah. Kind of like anthems. Meek is just so street. He's a he's a people's champ. So that's a good battle. But, but you know what's crazy? Guy. Once you put on Dream and Nightmares, it, it, it's it's not no no song beating that. Yeah, you got and that like, new that, intro is crazy. Huh? That new intro. What about G Unit Dipset? You asking me or you asking crowd? Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. Two Chains just got the first real good album. 
Like, 2 Chain got some shit. I can't hold you. But I think future... I don't think nobody want to fuck with Migos, though. No, that's too much. I think, I think I think Migo, I think Migos to kill any like group right now. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think no group could fuck with Migos. I think I think Migos to have that on lock any group. Yeah. They'll wash them. Yeah. What you think, G Unit? Dip, G Unit versus Dipset. Who me? I, I, I think uh, G Unit. G Unit got more songs. Yeah, I said G Unit. Oh, yeah, because they got Lloyd Banks got bangers and Fifty. That's a good battle, though. I'd rather see that than D-Block. And D-Block, John D-Block? Nah, D-Block D -block ain't got enough. I don't think, I think they get beat. But D-Block got bangers, too, though. You know what I mean, this is gonna bring a lot, man. It's gonna bring a lot. It's gonna bring a lot. And, you know the crazy part? They saying um they trying to get fast and two chains. They said Meek already dead at that. Meek said he not doing that. Nah, Meek, Meek getting on pride. Meek getting on his Jay Z shit, man. He got pride. Yeah, that's how he is. He definitely like. He getting on that Jay Z shit. Yeah, I, Jay, I like Jay Z and everything, but one thing about Jay, Jay don't Jay is. I think he too calculated to his own good. Sometimes you got to get the people who you want. You got to give back to the people. You think he do Jay that? Jay will never into nothing like that. That's no. something Jay will never do. That's his, that's his mystique. That's what makes him hold. You know what I'm saying? That unreachable type shit. Once he's reachable, he ain't hold no more. You know I mean? That's like Diddy. You know what I mean? Diddy's reachable. So you know this, this is some real shit here, right? How you feel about this, right? Now I've been watching this stuff all week, right? The battles and things like that. A lot of a lot of artists, a lot of the guys who did it, and plus, you know, I've been looking, did a lot of songs for Beyonce. They wrote a lot of songs, and we all know she don't produce. So is you consider a GOAT? Like, okay, right now Beyonce considered the GOAT, right? Is it fair for her to be the GOAT and you look back and you're seeing all these people did all the writing and all the producing. Basically, all she did was sing the song. Is it right for her to be the GOAT or because it's R&B? How do you feel about that? Yeah, that's a good question. You know what I mean? Because, I, I mean, I always looked at R&B like that. You know what I'm saying? I looked at R&B as a package. Like, you was created. You know what I'm saying? They go get producers. They go get your outfit. You know what I'm saying? They get your sound right. You know what I mean? But for hip-hop, now nah, you got to write your own music and rap, man. You ain't a hip-hop artist. You can still be a singer and not write your own music. But you can't be a hip-hop artist and not write your own music. I don't respect that. You know what I mean? It's like two different genres because we come in to hear you sing. So that takes a skill within itself. You know what I mean? So rap, no, nah, you got to write your own rap. You can't be just saying anything out your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no chorus or nothing in the music for real. Hip hop is your is your words. Music is I mean R and B is singer. So I'm gonna go with I will give R and B a pass. But hip hop, hell no. You gotta write your own music. All right, so Beyonce get a pass because she don't um write her shit. Yeah, she get a pass because R and B. She walked into that game. That game was like that when she got there. Yo, Leek, what up? What up, Leek? Leek was good. You know what I'm saying? That game was like that when she got there. Game yeah. killer was good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Originality, you know what I'm saying? About being creative, you know what I'm saying? I'm not biting, you know what I'm saying? So I can't fault Beyonce because when she got there, that, 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 
writing for you and all that was already established. Good girl. All right, so when they sit there and say, oh, who the most talented person, and they say her name, like they'd be like, oh, she's very talented, the most talented female artist or whatever. Then you would intervene and, and jump in and say something about that, like, nah, 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 or you just let it rock. A lot of these artists got ghostwriters. Yeah, you're right, VIP, you're right. A lot of these artists I do. Believe, DJ VIP, uh, I believe that in all senses. I mean, majority have ghostwriters, hip-hop and R&B, country music, all, all that. I mean, the ghostwriter is definitely an important asset and, and, and something that's neglected and not respected. You know what I mean? Because first of all, you can't really say who you who you writing for. You know, you're limited on that. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. I, I, I say, even for female artists, how many female artists write their own music? I only heard of a couple. They say, Charlie Baltimore write her music, Eve write her music, and Nicki Minaj. I never really heard, I could be wrong, I never heard nobody else writing their own music. Did Foxy Brown write her own songs? They say no. What you think about that, um, DJ VIP? It was some input. Yeah, boy. Yeah, y'all give some input. Yeah, that the, you you write what you're saying though. That's crazy. A lot of female artists. So that's why you do got to kind of give Nikki Nikki Remy write her own shit. Oh, Remy, Remy, Remy. Remy excuse Remy me. Write oh, her own shit. Remy, absolutely. I wasn't thinking because you know Remy. Yeah, Remy. Now she she take pride in her shit. Yeah, anything other than that, and then a lot of unknown artists, there's artists that we're not really hearing about because women are making a nice little surgeon right now. Women is their time. You're a woman in hip-hop, man. You got to get in there right now. Top notch, Tim. What's good? Well, yo, Tim, what up, boy, boy? You already. That's my yeah, so that's, that, that's, that's crazy right there, though. You already. Like, so when you say talented, to me, you got to say, if you say the most talented female, you got to kind of go with Missy Elliott. Yeah, Missy's definitely the rap, top, one of the top. She produce, you know I mean? she sings, she rap, she do everything. Same with T-Pain. T-Pain showed people this weekend, he got the banging beats, yeah. he's a songwriter, and he's a producer. I mean, and he's an uh, artist. Saying, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, Missy, some think that's a real artist first. I mean, see, some people do it producers, all. then artists. Then you got people that's artists, then producers. Dream, mm -hmm. dream, produce, dream, yeah, Neo, Neo, man, Dream was my favorite back in the days. Yeah, you, I mean, I mean, that's why you gotta hold on to to what makes sense, man. That's why the producers last so long. That's why they wind up start rapping because they know the game. You know what I'm saying? The rappers know the game. I mean, the producers know the game. So after a while, they start making their own music. So how you feel about producers like Sean Garrett, who wrote so many bangers, but He's a like mediocre as an artist. Say it again. I'm taking it as a joke as an artist. Me no, I said um Sean Garrett is like mediocre as an artist, but he wrote a lot of bangers. You're right, because sometimes being talented and being in front of the mic, that's two different ball games. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's the thing about R and B. Like Beyonce, she has the look. Anybody can't pull that off. If you don't look a certain way in hip hop and and and, and same world, you don't get pushed through. You know what I'm saying? Yo, mugger, what up, boy? You know what I'm saying? 80s baby. You know what I mean? Drew so, Joe, it was good. You know what I mean? It's like, you know what I mean? It ain't even about, you know, people don't even care no more. The music industry is, is watered down to the point where people don't care what's said and not said. If you real or not real. It's about money and what it look like because it's no more you fake. Nobody care if you fake. So now we're seeing a good experience with 6 9 I want to see how 6 9 is received. Because he's home, and no one cares. You understand? What you mean, that. When you say no one cares, meaning the, the artist, you, you think they're going to fuck with him? Nobody cares. He ain't even get a, a, a... You know how he could have been like, damn, dudes is messing with this dude. Ain't nobody even care that he home. Fans or, or haters, nobody really care. He's home. It's That's no, true. It's no yeah, it was noise. no noise. You see, that's Young wrong Chuck. because right now, <laughs> pandemic. If we wasn't dealing with this pandemic, we'd probably be like, ah, right, what's up with 6 9 Even though we don't want to pay no attention, we know he a rap. But we'd probably be like, let's see what this dummy is doing. And nobody care what he's no, doing. No, but you know what's crazy? It, it's a pandemic, right? Online presence is, is crazy. This is a time I think artists should really 
Because now everybody in the house is forced to listen. People watching yep. more YouTube than they ever did, listen to more music than They ever did because some people ain't big on TV, right? And, right. and like you said, for them, don't care that makes it bad on him because she did a thing because Will Trump is killing the internet right yeah. now. He did his when he did his numbers, he had he had a good week, he had this whole week. Him, I told you, Tory Lanez was doing his thing, other than that, it was Chop and Chop. And, 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 you know, Chop, <laughs> Chop, Hulk, Chop, funny as a motherfucker though. Yeah, I like Chop. That was my wreck. I was waking up watching Chop. He's my wreck too. I ain't gonna lie. He's my wreck. I I just tell people in the comments, man, and I hope it get to these artists who who try to get Nicole. How you doing? Uh, Sheila. I just tell people, man, don't take it that serious. Where y'all really trying to hurt somebody because what somebody's saying. It's clear this man going through something. Yeah. You can see, yo, the nigga be naked, man. Yeah, he crazy, That nigga man. Bumped up. No, I just but he's funny as a That's That's my wreck, though. I ain't going to hold you. Yeah, I woke up this morning and seen he went to jail. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. What the hell he's he going to jail for? I don't even know what they see him. He's in the jail. And then, they, you know, you know how you get the shoelaces and he coming out. You know what I mean? So I don't, and all that. I don't know, man. Chop. I don't think, crazy, it, was, crazy, it was too man. fast. He ain't getting no bell. I think what happened is like a more... Somebody said in the comments, this, this all the conduct. What happened? I'm about to say that. He don't got no real job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he ain't got no real job. But I wonder where his man... There ain't nobody really sticking up for him either. Everybody just saying crazy. I, I think the the young the young dudes he fuck with like like Keith and Dirk and and them, I think they more fuck with him behind the scenes. Right, right. I don't think I don't think they really trying because he he still got ties in because they peep in every now and then and fuck with him. That's the trouble. Like, yeah, they know. I mean, that's love. It's like block love. Yeah, that's love. Yeah, they ain't they ain't trying to clown and, and get on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They ain't trying to do all that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It been been quiet, man. Got you in the house and shit, you know? Yeah, man, I don't mind, man. Wife, everybody been off of work, kids, you know what I mean? Just be in and out the store and shit like that, you know what I mean? Thank God ain't nobody really been sick, you know what I mean? But I just take this time, man, to rebuild, man. I'm ready to get back out there, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all need to go check out Baby Bob interview on the, with the Beat 139, man. Oh, go check the Baby Bob right interview with Beat 139. You know what I'm saying? The Samuel joint. Yo, I want to get into that real real quick, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yo, Mob, what up? Ray Sean Allen, what up? Yo, Mob, what Ray up? Ray Sean Allen, 3-9, what's good? What up, Mob? Yo, so, um, for y'all don't know, Babe Bob is the one, you actually probably show your face a little for when you hit the streets, you know, let them peep at you, you know what I'm saying? But Babe Bob is the one who, uh, Sam Yo, Sam Yo manager, you know what I'm saying? This guy kept it 100. You know what I'm saying? He said, I want to go on the Beat 139. Absolutely. I want to do that interview first. So he introduced Samuel to, to the public. Like, you know what I mean? Samuel in the streets, getting money back in the days, you know, 80s, 90s, you know. Uh, what's, what's good? You what know, up, um, what up, Ma? You know, hot Rod, what you up, know, Rod? You know, getting money back in the days. So, you know, now, you know, this internet wave and, you know, everybody telling their story. You know, this is not an interview, but I just want to know what was your, how that come about with you and Sammy, yo? Because, you know, a lot of people be a little hesitant about coming out with their story and things like that. What was that conversation like? Did you come to him or did he approach you with it? Because I know you're his manager. I came to him, Doc, because this was something that was already, like, in my head through the years growing up. Like, you know, we chatted a bit, you know, and we talked on, on your show on 139 The Beat. And... You know, through the eighties, man, you know, it was a lot of a lot of glory that I seen. You know, I didn't see a hard time. I seen these guys pulling up in Mercedes and BMWs and the Jeeps, the chains and the girls, and you know, and being a young kid, you know, seven, eight years old, nine years old, you don't really know 
you know, life. You know, you just see it. So before I could make a decision, I wanted to be like these guys. Seeing Samuel, Yo, seeing my Uncle Gums and Timbo and my my brother Father Chick, Brucey e. B lived up the block in my I mean and got your gym was down the block. So seeing and coming out of my room, you know, as a kid and seeing Samuel and them playing cards. Sam might be at the dinner table with a bulletproof vest. This is 1987, 86, 88, you know. And as time went on and when I got involved with the streets and I realized, you know, how hard it is to be, succeed in the streets. People just look at this stuff like it's easy. Like, oh, he's a drug dealer or he's a businessman or he runs a company or she has a beauty salon. We look at these things like they easy tasks. If it was easy, we would all be doing it, you know. Some of these things take real hard work and to main to get money is not is, is not too hard to maintain and to support your lifestyle and support others so when i seen all these years through years of seeing my uncles successful from the fashion from the women not nothing i really knew just from the outside looking in i i wanted to be it so as years when that 30 years 20 years we talk on the 80s all the way to now so I always used to run them stories about them. Um, Doc, like, yo, what's up? What y'all want to do? My Uncle Wayne. Yo, what's up, Uncle Wayne? What's up, man? You know, because he, he's been, he's he's affiliated with um the movie Crime Partners. My Uncle Wayne, Wayne Davis did. What's up? What up, uh, Tone? Antonio Macaroni. What's yeah, up, Mike? Good. Like, so, um, Jim B, what's good? 50, Jim B, Jim B 50. So, um, with my, um, so, you know, through the years, you know, I see some of my uncle, I see Wayne, you know, Wayne did on um, Crime Partners with Supreme McGriff. They did the movie Crime Partners, you know. And, you know, so I know he was interested in and understood the power of our culture and the power of Harlem stories or the 80s stories, Detroit story, Miami, these urban folk folk folklores. So when I wanted I wanted prize Wayne years ago, Wayne was with it, like, yeah, you know what I mean? So I wanted by my other uncle Gums, you know what I mean, my mother brother, he like, eh, I ain't with that, you know what I mean? So, you know, I could have went different routes. I talked to a lot of guys in Harlem, you know what I mean, just briefly, but I never, let's do something. Sam Yo was the first person I said, yo, cuz, let's do it. Sam was like, let's go, you know what I'm saying? And that was, that was in, like, January. So once we got that rolling, you know what I mean, it was, it was, it was just pictures, you know what I mean? Because I always seen Gums and, 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 and not even Sam Yo. You never really seen Sam Yo pictures on Instagram. You seen my Uncle Gums pictures. You seen people like Kokomo who lived in my building. You seen the LAs, you seen the um Rich Porters. Certain names, you know what I'm saying? You seen the same people over and over. You know what I'm saying? So when I when I gave the idea to Sam, it was like, hold on, hold on, Doc. When I gave the idea to Sam, it was more like, yo, let's rock and roll. And, and Sam has a hell of a story. Sam's story bigger than a lot of people's stories, man. You know what I'm saying? Sam's story is filled with Willie Burgers, SNS Nightclub. You know what I'm saying? These is legendary things. Willie Lounge. These is legendary situations. You know what I'm saying? So it didn't have to work, Doc. You know what I mean? I take my hat off to you guys for embracing us, but it didn't have to work. People could have said, nah, forget that. They ain't even hear that. It's so much, man. It's so much that y'all going to hear, man, because we got this book and all that going, Doc. You know what I mean? But I'm going to get into that. That's the topic I like to talk about. But go ahead, Doc. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so you got the uh, the book. And, and like you said, we didn't even, and and, and I told Sam, okay. you know, if I would have known, but see, I want to get y'all on so fast. Uh -huh. I ain't really want to wait. So we could have went a little more, but we had three guests that day. Right, right. So it's like, not rushed it, but we kind of like, you know, he, got, he did an hour and change, which was right. good money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we could have extended a little more because, like you say, he had more. But then also, he said he had a book, so he right. he want, he didn't want to say too much. And and, and I hear about y'all got a movie coming out with Sam. So yeah, you know, we, get into that. We script already. We already did the movie script. You know what I mean? The book is coming out beautiful, man. In the beginning, that book is a tearjerker, man. When y'all hear this man's story, because a lot of times when we look at certain guys across the countries, these notable guys that we read about and we hear about them in magazines. And we don't know, man, them, them people is just like us, man. For guys who never had millions of dollars or guys who never had all the women and all the cars and all this, the lifestyle. We see the basketball players and the rappers. You know, before basketball players and rappers, man, it was in Harlem, man. 
Harlem was the epicenter of the world, man. I'm so proud to be from Harlem. So when you get an authentic story out of Harlem, you got to take it, man. You got to take it and respect it, man, because there's a lot of lessons that's going to be learned. And it ain't all about the money, man, and the women. It's about what not to do. You know what I mean? It's about what you could have done. You know what I mean? It's about the outcome, man, because we know drugs destroyed our community. So it's not all like we glorifying drugs, man. None of these stories we on that type of time. We giving y'all the real of what really happened on that time, what could have happened, and where we go from here. Now, we not going backwards, man. We ain't blaming nobody. We taking accountability. We going to give y'all all the sides of it, the fun side, the pain. And, and that side saying book, man, it's tearjerker, man. The whole beginning of that book is going to shock people, you know, and we're going to definitely come back on 139 The Beat, you know what I mean, with the book, with our merch and the all beat that. The Beat 139 The Beat 139 Huh? You, you always say you always say 139 The Beat. The they Beat 139 right? Yeah, I'm going to get it right. I'm going to get it right. Once we get on TV, I'm going to say it right on TV. The Beat 139 yeah, I do, right? Y'all need to go check them interviews out. Check out Samuel and check out Baby Bob interviews, man. Some what strong up, joint. Rams, Rams what's up? Word. Macaroni Word. Tony, what's good? Yeah, but yeah, we got that wrong. Tony. Yeah, give us up, y'all. Talk y'all shit, man. It was both my guys right there, too, man. Tony. Yeah. Rams. Yeah. Felt the yeah, that's right. We got two on them. We got, the, we got to support each other, man. Like, we Harlem. Yeah. I want to give out the good Harlem stories, man. No, come come, come back with us with the Harlem stories, man. We're going to do. We're going to take it outside with it, man. We're going to go all around with it to the basketball games, Dykeman. You know what I mean? There's no limit. But, but these stories got to be told because they belong to us. And we just got to get these companies to buy. That's why, like, even though 50 be on some bullshit sometime, 50 opening that door, man. See, you got that sex money murder story. That shit about the I ain't hear that. 50 I ain't hear that one. What? Man, go on his page. That's about to come on TV. You got the notorious oh, cop. Sex money murder story coming on television, man. That's wow. I got to go check his page. Soon we get off live. Huh? I said, soon we get off live, I'll check that page. Yeah, that's going on stars. That's going on stars real soon. And that's what I'm saying. So it's it going, it, it going on stars before Big Meat story? All that's going to stars. And some of them going to other channels. But, you know, that's all in the Like Gabe Benzo. What up? That's my man from Chicago, man. He, he out here popping, yeah, you know. Yeah, I just watched the interview on him. Yeah, I just watched. Shout out to Benzo. I watched y'all interview earlier and shit. I seen it before, yeah, fuck, but I watched it again today. Yeah, he, he fuck with Young Chop. He fuck with Chow, Young Chop. Right? You know, they about, to, they about to get it cooking. Yeah, oh, that's Chop. You on that side. Yeah, yeah, he on, he on that side. Yeah, That's yeah, BD right there. Yeah, I watched they BD. Movie. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's Blackgate. He, he, got, he got some popping music out there, man. His interview... Shout out to him. Shout out Jojo Capone. Shout out to um my man THF Billa. You know, they've been showing us, they show love, man. There's some real dudes right there, man. Uh, Chicago, always who in Chicago, man. There's a lot of gangsters, man. A lot of history out of Chicago. See, a lot of people think LA it started this black gangster shit when it come to black gangs. Black gangs started in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? LA just got the prominent of the bloods and the crips. But Chicago started all the black gangster all the black gangster gangs. That's a fact. All the Latin Kings out of Chicago, all of the Gorilla Stones, and you know, they got a lot of history. Shout out to Chicago, man. You know, and we, we yeah, can name beef and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sex money, you already know. What up, uh, what up, Book? Book 141. That's my man Rod O. Law you Vinci. What's up? Book was good. Word. Law you was good. What up? But um Yeah, but that but 50, let me tell you something, like you said, 50 is a smart motherfucker, man. 50 getting these stories, and then once someone else tried to do it, it's like you following his way. Like, I mean, not like people like us, but like, like no, the, yeah. the thing is, it's hard to do what 50. It's hard for people with 50 come from to do what 50 do. 50 got the back end of these televisions, man. He proved himself. You got to prove, yeah, prove himself himself. and prove that it could work. Anything he touched worked. So it's right. I don't care if you don't like him. You know what I'm saying? His money talks. He, know, he knows that he has a winning formula. And the people going to back him, and he going to push all that shit while he hot. Because this lane ain't going to be here. He pushing he's that shit smart. while he hot. Yeah. He's smart. Yo, Keefe G's, what up? King 23, Stevie G's, what up? What up, my guy? Yeah, and like you said, that's that's the thing about the joint. You know what I'm saying? You should do an NFL, start your book. You know, um, a lot of people saying that, but the thing is, man, the nigga Lou, you know what I mean? He did some bullshit. I ain't like the... the uh, 
the shit, you know what I'm saying? We get up behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? But Lou did some bullshit with that book. That book is straight garbage. And then we got a, a million a million uh views on on uh on info minds. And it's not it's not told right, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you're gonna tell a story, you know what I mean, keep it one hundred and, and tell it how I tell it. You know what I mean? Don't do it because you like this person or you don't like that person, so you're going to shit on this person. So Lou did a horrible job with that. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's it's real touchy, and there's a lot of good times motherfuckers had. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You made it seem like niggas just the, the most fucked up as niggas there is instead of, you know what I'm saying, have it where the fun times, the good times. You know what I'm saying? It just went straight to the drama. And then and then it's, it's bad drama. Then the way... It was all, he, he, you really made homie look real bad in that joint. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't true. You know, you got to tell yeah, her how you're going to tell her. Another joint, you got to, you know what I'm saying? That's the thing about this media stuff. Sometimes you got to go recant. Denisha was good. Unapologetic, Denisha, what's up? Denisha, Denisha, how you doing? But yeah, you got to go back at it. You know what I mean? You got to go do it again. You know what I'm saying? And that's Info Mind. He don't care. He ain't doing no real fact check. He taking one story. <laughs> He ain't going to see, yo, if this is true. Sometimes you got to go investigate these stories. Hey, this you got to go investigate. Because if I don't like you, I can tell the story. I mean, you can't let the enemy tell your story. You can't. You know what I'm saying? That's it's, like... the same thing that's that we like, in America with the media. We let know exactly. how we are. You might not have to like somebody, but you still have to be like, yo. Like San Francis, I say, yo, I'm, I might not like... Like you said, niggas don't like 50, but they got to respect what he's doing. Mm -hmm. If you don't like a nigga, you still got to... Say hey, this is what it is. Let the truth be the don't truth. lie on the nigga. Lying on the nigga is, is is fucked up, man. Or don't you know what I'm saying? Or don't mention it. If you gonna lie, if you not, if you ain't gonna say the truth, don't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? You could just not say nothing. And I'm just gonna give. I'm just gonna give a little sneak, a sneak peek, right? Mm -hmm. Of that, of that joint. I respect since we on here, and you know my man book. You know what I'm saying he. You know what I mean. I just want to touch on something that really, really bothered me in that book on the book, right? And, and any real nigga, street niggas, you know what I'm saying, quite saw right through it. You can't double dip. He's like, yo, I fuck with Lee, Lee my man, blah, blah, blah. And he tried to, I ain't like how he tried to throw a hot tag at, at home, he tried to insinuate that. And that was farthest from the truth. You don't do that. You know what I mean? Number one, he not here to defend himself. And, and that's some fucked up shit. And it was good. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That was some fucked up shit in that book. You tried to say this man like a snitch, or he or he was even thinking about snitching through some bullshit like that. Anybody knew Lee? Lee was a prideful motherfucker. Nowhere in the world he gonna go, oh, this and that, the police. Police ain't gonna go at him no little punk five years or some sh like come on, stop it. Like, like you know what I'm saying, and try to insinuate it and say, Oh, I'm I fuck with Lee, he cool, but you know, I'm I'm not saying he told, or, but you threw some bullshit out there. Yeah, but then the you say, and then he said, like guys on the lynch mob, right? Mm -hmm. on, on on the lynch mob case, they a couple blocks from us. You know what I'm saying? We we're all the same yeah. hood. You know what I'm saying? He tried to say, oh, them guys, you know, some of them guys told, but I'm not gonna speak their name, you know, because I'm cool. See now, that's where you go wrong at because yeah, you anyway. You you gonna you gonna speak a nigga name that you grew up with, and and insinuate shit. That uh uh I don't know, but here it is. You said you know for a fact that niggas who been told, but you you don't want to say their names, right? Right. You see what I'm saying? Like you, 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 you out of pocket with that. You see what I'm saying? How are you gonna say I'm not gonna speak on niggas who name that you know told? So now you, you call yourself a street dude. You're not speaking on these niggas. You know what I'm saying? They cool. I'm not gonna speak on these niggas because competition killer was good. I'm not gonna speak on these dudes. They cool, but they told. But you gonna throw a tag on a nigga? Number one, a nigga not hit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He not here to defend himself. And it's nothing. It was nothing. Nobody, nobody, all the niggas in the hood, everybody like, what the fuck is homie doing? Right. Nobody respected that shit there. Yeah, I, I so you, you, defended, you defended niggas that snitched. 
that you know snitch. You ain't throwing their name out there, but a nigga that, but you gonna throw his name. Damn, you did that because the niggas out here, and you ain't want them problems with them niggas. Right. You get what I'm saying? So on that lynch mob case, you ain't want to say the niggas name who told because they out here. Right. You don't want you don't want them problems, but you want to say a nigga that's not here, the nigga not here to defend himself. Right. You throw a, a bullshit a hypothetical old oh, because he's saying this. I don't know, but it sound funny because the talk like. Like, come on. Nobody never heard that shit. Yeah, that's why I book. You see what I'm saying? Read read that book. That part yeah. there was garbage. You yeah, see what book, I'm saying? Yo, that's yo, book used to tell me about them niggas back in the day. No, Lee, Leon, da 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 Yo, but yeah, that shit is, yeah, it's just dirty bad shit. You know what I'm saying? But that, I, know I can like respect that, that though. Hey, hey, Bob, I couldn't respect that because you one thing, don't pick and choose. You know what I'm saying? Right. If you're going to say, hey, never heard, did. See, books, I never heard nothing about that about Lee. That's what I'm saying. Every Geo was good. Every real nigga and nigga in that hood never heard nothing. So when that book came out, I'm mad because I had to sit there and answer shit. Niggas right. coming up to me, cool, yo, what's up? You saw that book, yo, niggas, niggas, um, Lou Sam TV. It's two different Lou's. So some people in the, um, you know, probably this joint. I'm talking about Lou from my block, not not, not Lou. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody may think, because I I mentioned Lynch Mob, like I. So in case somebody, you know, sometimes people get kind of conversation yeah, yeah, shit yeah. twisted. But I'm saying Lou from my block. Reason why I like that book because he ain't do it right. You know what I'm saying? You ain't you ain't do it right, and you was out of pocket with that, and I was wrong, man. Mm -hmm. That shit was on call for. That shit was, was 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 wrong at every level. You know what I'm saying? And and, and you look bad because a, a, a first thing a real nigga gonna say, you 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 protect protecting niggas that told, but and and you saying he said I don't want to mention. It. He said it. He said the lynch mob case. He said I don't want to talk about you know they niggas told, but I don't want to mention their names. That's like if a nigga told on your case, Bob. You want you want his name to get run through the mud. Fuck them niggas, yeah. You, you, you'll be mad at me if 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 if, if you got a, you in the case, your your murder unit case, right? Mm -hmm. And let's say you had a couple rats on your case, mm -hmm. and I sit there and be like, yo, da da da. On, you'll be like, yo, doc, man, why the fuck you ain't say this niggas name. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? Fuck them niggas. If you ain't gonna say their names, don't say nobody names. That's how I feel about it. Right, yeah, don't pick and choose. Don't say a nigga you grew up with that nobody never heard no shit like that because you don't like him. You know what I'm saying? That that shit was that shit was corny right there. Yeah, I can never say that shit. That's something y'all gotta read. Y'all gotta go back into. You know what I'm saying? Because people gonna say. And that. there's a lot of shit in that book. I just I want to it, touch I, on I, that. But when I watch real the documentary, quick. I look at it like, oh, okay. Like I don't know what's real or not. I know a lot of that shit happened. I mean, I know the players and the faces, but I can't say, oh, that ain't true. This ain't true. And that's what happened when you let anybody tell these stories. I ain't think Lou would do some shit like that. I thought it was an authentic story. That's when the outside looking in. And that's when shit become the truth. A nigga in a whole nother state will argue with you about that DVD. You from that block, but he seen the DVD, he gonna argue with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's living in, man. That's like that King Erna nigga. Hey, hey crazy. You you yeah. you can get it you can get into that. I, I don't wanna cut you off when you said about that, right? But the comments on that, yo, I couldn't even watch it on the shit got a million views. Yeah, that I know. uh that um info miles with the NFL shit. Mm -hmm. Yo, the comments people were saying about that shit. Yeah, I'm I like, shit. I, I can't defend that shit. Like, like you know, go. I'm not gonna be calm on everything, but you know what I'm saying. I just want to touch on that. Like, That's you know, true. later date I could deal with that. But what you were saying about King Erner? No, I said King Erner do that shit. Niggas be from whole other states trying to tell you what's going on on your block. He fuck up a lot of stories, man. I don't know why he do that, man. You know what I'm saying? I respect you got an opinion, but you go into a lot of New York stories that you can't validate. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't understand. You can't look at shit from the outside. Look, I can't look and stay up inside of Philly from rap and say Philly is a such and such because Meek Mill said it. Or Philly is such and such because of what I've seen in the movie. You got to be in those towns and dealing with the local people to know the city. You know what I'm saying? And that's what be going wrong with a lot of these back and forth issues from state to state. Because people see movies and they know a few people. They know somebody on 145th 
and think they know the whole New York City. They forgot it's 144th Street, it's 143rd Street, it's 130th Street, there's 155th. It's people all over. You can't just go in one situation and say, yo, I got mans in this city. I got mans in this town. You start talking about the town as if you know it. Now, back to King Erna, my problem with him is he always talking about Rich and Crow and AZ. Like, you from these blocks. It's people from the next block that can't tell these stories. How are you able to tell these stories of people you don't know? <laughs> That's very strange, bro. You can talk about what you hear. <laughs> you can't make definite decisions about this is how something happened. Where you get your information from? It's different if you talking about something and giving an opinion. But he be talking about stuff and saying, this is what happened. This is why this is that way. That's just, this internet shit is getting out of hand. You know what I mean? But, but you, you said some you said some real shit when you said people from the next block can't even and it'd be true. You don't really know like if you know what I mean we could be from the same hood, but like each block it depends how how is you know Damn. niggas dealing with each other. Yeah. On some personal shit, you might not know the direct details of shit. One project don't get along with the other side of the project. We've been going through this for years. You know what I'm saying? One set, one block don't get it. Come on, you can't do that. What? But why? But he's gonna lose his whole fan base. <coughs> like, you can't even comment on his page. You can't comment on his YouTube page. Oh, he took the comments off. You could comment, but you ain't gonna see everybody else's comments because I know he's getting <laughs> the flat. I don't know how Philly stands for it. You know what I mean? And I respect what he's doing. That's your position. But you can't. You people are geographical. He say he's not geographical, but. Most of hip hop is geographical. I can't, I'm not going to disrespect Philly. If I have a problem with somebody in Philly, I'm going to say that. I'm not saying he has a problem with New York, but you got to respect people's city, man, and how people feel about their city. People love their city more than they love their family. This is the streets. The, the media and this internet shit is ran majority by our culture. You know what I mean? And the street culture and this hip hop culture. Not on no violent shit, but we got rules. You breaking all type of rules and trying to give everybody else rules. You know what I'm saying? That's not right. I want to hear about the dudes in Philly. I want to hear about Black Brothers Inc. and all of them. All the all the Muslim mafia and gangsters that's out there. Let us hear about them. Break your city down. Because you know your uh, what's up? Why are you not doing that? That's not fair. Don't keep riding New York. Everybody wanna ride New York and then throw us away. I wanna take all our shit and throw us away. Can't keep doing that, man. Can't keep taking our story because we got the platform. Come on. Nah, man. What's up, y'all? What's up? Great. And, 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 and you know what's crazy? It, like, it, everything at the end of the day is always going to come down to respect. That's one thing it, it always comes down to at the end of the day is respect. I, I, I try to respect everybody. And you know, that's just what it is. Right. Like, I, like, like, me personally, like, the reason why I fuck with you so hard and, and you and I even gave up, like, dude, Chicago and different people who came on the platforms. You know, uh, Ray was good. You know, people who, who keep it 100. You know who, who really pissed me off? That nigga Votto, man. Yeah, you told me. You told me, man. He, you know how he pissed me off? Because I, I, I had love for him. I, I like him. Right. If I don't fuck with a nigga, I don't fuck with a nigga. I like him. Man, him kicked it behind the scenes crazy. You know what I'm saying? Going back and forth. Talking like, yo, about we going to do this. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do this for the hood. Right, and, right. and you know, a no call, no show. I ain't like that at all, man. Yeah, you don't do I ain't that. like you basically saying fuck me. Right. You know what I'm saying? When you do no call, no show, you saying you don't got no respect for a nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? And so, Stop. at the end of the day, when it comes to respect, you know what I'm saying? How nigga gonna come to you? Hey, you see what I'm saying? Hey, what up, man? Nickel was good. He said you and Lucy talk. Then somebody said we gotta get Benny. Mm -hmm. Live. Get Bing and, um, and what's good? I'm a, um, and that's my man. And you know, I mean, from from the way you know, what I'm saying his his wife came on on the show, you know, but 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 he brought it out there. Um, and I know that's his man. That's that man and shit, right? Yeah. But I get what you're saying. Also, but you know, what I'm saying I'm not going to if, if I feel a nigga. We all block, right? And he didn't have that type of a book is different. Like sometimes live and, and when you talking, sometimes people say shit they don't mean. But a book, you had time to write and edit. If you didn't have that much respect 
for my family. Now, mind you, Lee got four kids by my peoples. Right. Bloody, what up? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and, and he had four kids by my peoples. Right. My peoples, whole family felt the way about that shit. Wow. Lee not here, he wasn't here to defend himself. Right. So he pissed, you know what I'm saying? Niggas mad. And these people from the block. Right. Some people might not say it, but people was like, yo, he's out of pocket with that, whatever, whatever, right? You too, so, bro. so, so, and, right, why should I, I, um, give that respect that Olive Branch and be like, yo, come on, let's talk behind the scenes. If he didn't have enough respect to even do it to somebody's dead and, and my people's, now I got to talk to my family members, be like, yo, don't worry about that. I'm calming them down. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about that. Try not to, you know what I'm saying? Niggas don't need no drama. Fuck all that shit. You know what I'm saying? If it was respect on, on that, I, I feel I shouldn't have to do that. So on my live, if, if, if a homie come say, yo, do it, y'all should do an NFL story. It's not like I came on here to talk about Lou. Right. I didn't come in here to talk about Lou. What happened was a homie came and said, y'all should do an NFL story and it restored old feelings. Now right. my feelings got involved on that because I'm like, you know what I'm saying? A story with the info mind and his book. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't have enough respect to either to keep it 100 in that book and say exactly what it is. Don't who you like to try to say this and that. And then not only that, you put a snitch tag on somebody. Right. You know, a snitch tag is, is bad. Because if that man was alive, number one, that, that wouldn't have happened. You, right. you knew you wouldn't have did that if he was alive. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, you ain't have enough respect for a nigga family to be like to put a hypothetical or, or even put that out there knowing he got grown kids. You know what I'm saying? And his kids is my family. You right. know what I'm saying? And then not only that, the young Quincy. Not, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying, eh? Damn. You know what I'm saying, eh? You, you know, it, it, it wasn't, you know, I know that's your man, and, and normally that's how I handle shit. I talk behind the scenes, joke, blah, 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 but he was out of pocket for that. And then a whole nother crew, you know what I'm saying, which we fuck with them, you know, they was cool with us, you know what I'm saying? But you say, oh, they had, yo, they got snitches in their crew, people told on their crew, but I'm not going to mention their names. Like, I just think that was just so super corny, and You see what I'm saying, Ant? You know what I'm saying? If you want to kick it with me, you want, you still got my number, you know, we could talk. You know what I'm saying? But I just think that was corny. And everybody, you know, see, some people going to talk, may see him, like, yo, Lou, it up, and, and, and not say it. But a lot of people behind the scenes ain't really like that shit. Nobody liked it because it, it, it was out of pocket. So what is Lou? You know what I'm saying? Like, book set, book set. Every nigga in the hood, 41st, 42nd. Nobody heard no shit like that. So what is Lou's response, though? See, Sean's what up, patient baby mama, what's up? You said what's Lou response? What's Lou response, 10 toes down, forever young Quincy. Shout out to y'all. Oh, oh, um, I, I, I ain't Y'all's never heard nothing response. He, he, he just did the, um, he did the book, you know what I'm saying? And, and whatever, then he did the info mines right after that. He did the book first, then he did the info mine. You wow. know what I'm saying? And then, and then, and then the thing, another thing, to be honest, right, with this shit, you know what I'm saying? Another thing that, uh, with this shit is, you know what I'm saying? It, I don't want to get too much into it, you know what I'm saying? Because we're on, on live, but you know what I'm saying? The shit is, is, is crazy, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, you know what I'm saying? And and, and our love for their family, you know what I'm saying? Lou and we all grew up together, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, we grew up together place. as kids, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we got love for one another, you know what I'm saying? And my thing, whatever happened in the, in the past, let that shit even sell out. You know, don't keep bringing that shit up, you know what I'm saying? So Cause they never give a response like, yo, my bad, or uh, uh. Not that I know of. I ain't hear no response. But the thing is, I got to be the one to answer these questions. Because I got family. I got on both sides. family with, both, with, with Raj and Lee. So I got the answer, do all these answers. Then... People, my people feel the way because they like all these niggas speaking on Eva, Eva Ranch family. They feel nobody don't drop no money to me. Right, nobody see the kid. You know what I'm saying? Everybody talk about like, Reg, my man. Reg is my homeboy. Reg, my man. Nobody give Reg, Reg kids nothing. Reg got, oh, Reg got two kids with sickle cell. Be in and out the hospital. Nobody yeah. never did nothing for their kids, but they saying, you know. Yeah, that's how this shit get, man. I, I believe you, Aunt. And I believe you 100%, and eh? You know what I'm saying? I believe you. That's how people people do double talk. You know what I'm saying? When Ant said, 
Some people gave their input, the same people.